So, as you can see, I have now opened up the file that e Ingram Spark helpfully emailed me. It's an InDesign file. And now looking at it, you can see why um, it's easier that they generate this file from us for us than that we try and make it ourselves based on their specifications. Because it's a very strange looking file. It's like, it's huge. And then the actual book fits in this part here um, because they print it off on this whole sheet. But anyway, let's have a closer look before we start designing before you start designing your cover so over here you can see um there are two layer layers layer one is the guides which has all of this background stuff on we will be covering over that layer completely sorry the second layer is called layer one which actually has these bits on which we keep there so they stay above the design layer that we are using or we can put our design on that layer um, i like to create a layer in between these two um which is where i put my design um but we can move that barcode that they've generated for us around so as long as that's there on the back cover you can move that around you can put a white box behind it with a website address a price text whatever you want to put there that's fine um, so that's on layer one and you can just use layer one to move that around. Um, let's get rid of that. I've got to close my emails. I apologize. Um, okay. So just a quick look at this file before I then show you how my cover looks after I've added my designed cover. Um, let's look through the instructions. So the pink area is the safe area. Obviously this side will be our back cover when the book closes and this side here will be our front cover. So your front cover design will need to go here. Your back cover design will need to go there. If like me, you have an illustration that stretches all the way across, it can cover the whole area right across here. This area here will be your spine. Um, now, as you can see, my book is so thin that it's gonna have a very tiny spine, which will not really have room for any text or anything. So I'm not gonna put anything on the spine of my book. Um, it is so tiny. It gives us all the measurements down the bottom here, so you can see those. So the pink area is the safe area. Make sure that all of your text and anything important, logos and barcodes, stay in the pink area. The blue area is the bleed area. All Any um, background colours that aren't white um, need to cover and extend to the edge of the blue area, any illustrations and so forth. The white template area they're talking about is down here. Nothing should extend into that area. Um, and also we need to leave the um, black trim and fold marks in the corners down here and at the edges because they need those for their printing. Barcode placement. The provided barcode may be moved to any location within the pink area of the back cover. So this barcode, this barcode here, you can put it anywhere on this back cover that you want um, and the overall document size for the template is shown in the lower left corner. The final PDF cover submitted must match this size. So that's down here. So basically it's saying just put your put your design and your text, your title and everything on here on the blue and pink area. Make sure the blue and pink area is completely covered. Make sure the barcode is there and leave everything else as it is and then just do um, an export as a pdf file from this okay but i will cover that in the next video i just wanted to quickly show you the template so you go ahead make your cover design um in the next video i will sh just walk you through my cover design quickly and show you how to export it so that you have a file ready to upload